no, 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 no. Okay. No. Welcome to On the Set. I'm Jeannie, and I have some amazing guests. Oh my gosh, get ready for some laughter and some lots of interesting things. Rick Chandler, Richard Chandler, author, writer, film producer, owner of, owner of Boston Film Company, production company, and George Rayner, actor, and I think comedian may be the next the next thing up on your plate, oh my gosh. But well, we'll see how the show goes. It's debatable, right? Debatable. Debatable. So, Richard, Rick and Richard. Whatever <laughs> works. <laughs> Whatever works. Um, you're, you're a writer. You've written two novels, right? And mm -hmm. they um, are Streets of Rage and Dark Nation, right? So tell, tell me about that before we get into the film. Uh, Dark Nation was the first one. It was released in, uh, I believe, 2006, and mm -hmm. Streets of Rage was uh, it's a little bit newer. It's uh, 2010. Um, they're both available on Amazon.com. And uh, I don't. I always like to write, and uh, I, I did uh, novels first before I did film, and then I just kind of. So you went from yeah. writing your novels to screenwriter. Yeah. Right. yeah. So when with your novels, did you did it take years? Did you? How did you get? A subject. Was it, um, it, took, it took a while. But something that really mattered to you. Is that right? And that's how you write all <laughs> of your movies. Yeah, basically, <laughs> it's just uh, I'll get an idea. Um, mm -hmm. Usually fiction, um, which is usually a good thing because mm -hmm. uh, can't be real. So, you know, does usually, something uh, like spark these ideas for you? I don't know. You don't know Alcohol, where they come perhaps. From? <laughs> Alcohol, perhaps. Alcohol, yeah. or maybe in the shower. Just comes to you? No, probably not in the shower. <laughs> That's, you're getting a little dirty, I think, here. Okay. Well, you know, let's talk about right now what's in post-production. And we'll sort because I want to start with a trailer, too, and to show people what your work is all about. Um, let's talk about Scrooge in the Hood, and which George Rayner is in also. And George, you play the Scrooge. Uh, yes, I do. So that must have been a lot of fun. Well, when Rich came with me with the idea, uh, I kind of embraced it right away. The idea of, a, uh, of Ebenezer Scrooge, mm -hmm. a story that I think we all know well. Mm -hmm. uh, but, of course, he has a twist, and it is Scrooge in the hood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seemed like it would be a lot of fun, but a challenge also. And when we were talking earlier, about Scrooge in the Hood, it's really about real, raw life. Is that right? Something like that. Something like that. So when we show the trailer, there'll be a lot of bleepers, you know, yes. out of it. Mm. So, and you said you have one line <laughs> in the show, in oh, the movie. Oh, well, I, I do have one word that I do use kind of. A lot. A lot. <laughs> and it, but it, but um, it, it's expressive because we, we are talking about urban life. Mm -hmm. um, it's a stylized urban, urban life. It's not, it's neither a, uh, um, you know, some people might assume it's an Afro-American mm -hmm. uh, movie because I'm black. But it's, it's about really all the different folks that live in the hood. Mm -hmm. And, and um, it, it is a, a raw, tough thing. I mean, Scrooge's background, his father uh, was in prison. Uh, his, his mother worked the streets. Uh, just his background. Mm -hmm. You know, gives it an earthy tone, and and also feeds his rage, because uh, he he's not a very nice man. <laughs> that that's for sure. So was that fun to play? Uh, yeah, I, I think it was. I think it was. I think. Um, Is that was, your other, yeah. your alter ego? Yeah, it was a certain certain part of me was screwed, mm -hmm. but I had to bring something else to the table. And what was that? And that was a. Uh, a uh, disassociation with other human beings, so to speak. Money was mm -hmm. Scrooge's god, mm -hmm. and and money was what motivated Scrooge, and and um, the the whole Christmas story um, um, eventually softened that, or changed that, mm -hmm. and and put another human being more important than him. So, as an actor, before we show the trailer. About five years ago, you started acting. You got this acting bug after you retired. I slipped on a banana peel and 
There I was. Um, um, I did a play for Wheelock Family Theater, mm -hmm. and uh, an ensemble piece. And um, from then on in, um, um, I pursued it. And so, playing the Scrooge in the Hood is one of the many characters that you've had, also. But you feel like you're developing and growing each with each film you do. Well, Rich gave me a, a perfect opportunity. I mean, to 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 be the lead in this film. Um, was an amazing um, challenge for me, <laughs> and, and it was uh, definitely fun. I mean, it's a great cast, it's a great group of uh, local actors, mm -hmm. and um, they bring so much to the movie. They make it so rich and, and, and um, um, so much um, um, laughter. So was there a lot of that laughter behind the scenes, too? Oh, yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Probably was just as much. Mm -hmm. Probably was just as much. And, and uh, um, we really, a lot of us had done other things together. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was really good to, to, to come together around this, this particular mm -hmm. piece. Are you happy with, with everything, the way that it went? I know you're in post-production yeah. now. I'm so, so far so good. I, I can't wait to unleash it. <laughs> upon yeah. the world. Yeah. So it's just one thing that is that you have to put together with that is the music. Yeah, just the music and just mm -hmm. all the audio work that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm hoping for a December premiere. Uh, if mm -hmm. we get lucky, if not, unfortunately, it have to be January, but mm -hmm. I'm banking on the December premiere. I'm investing in a nice bulletproof vest, <laughs> and um, I'm going to have that on. So, Rick, are you living your dream? Well, my dream would be, maybe in part, you know, mm -hmm. maybe if I made some money with this, I'd be happy, happier. Because mm -hmm. it, it costs a lot of money to make these movies. But that, that'd be the negative side. On the positive side, yeah, I get to work with a lot of great people and, you know, pr produce a screenplay that I write. Um, something a lot of people uh, don't get the opportunity to do, um, even if they want to. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's definitely a positive side to that. And, you know, it's... Hopefully someday I'll make that transition and I'll be able to do this full time. And mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, it's been a process. And it would be perfect for this to be released at Christmas. That's oh, your yeah. goal. I mean, yeah. Scrooge has. It's the to ultimate be. goal, anyways. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it happens. Yeah. But okay. Well, let's take a look at the trailer. We have a clip of that, and of course, you know, it'll be there'll be bleeps. But here we go. We're going to take a look at the Scrooge in the Hood trailer. When all those young punks want to sell dope for me, doors will open. And when all them young <laughs> want to turn tricks for me and make me some <laughs> money, until then, they can remain poor. <laughs> you are real. It's not many people's fault that they're poor. Many of them have lost their jobs and have children to feed. Ah, they should have worn a condom. And I'm going to kill <laughs> fucking business this <laughs> You will be visited by three spirits, the three ghosts of Christmas. Come here, have your nail polished? Pass. I'm going to start my own old house, because if ever needs a Scrooge ho. Present. Scrooge is a mean old man who's probably taking a as we speak. Oh, Anyway, they each will show you the error of your ways. Listen, get out of here before I call an exorcist. Scrooge. Those that did this tomorrow, they will come for you. Uh, anyway, you are one mother We are going to return to the present. This shit, I gotta get done. <laughs> Scrooge is gonna kill me. Very naughty you were never there for us. You never. For us. You think you can stop me now? I know, I know I will. Stop it. Hey, Tiny Tim, what the f*** do you want? Hey, what day is it? It's Christmas Day, dumb Hey, get your ass up the way here before I fill you full of fuck shot. <laughs> George, what do you have to say for yourself? 
I like your hat, by the way. Oh, well, thank the, you. This hat, too, but I liked your hat. Well, I'm there. glad you like my hat. And um, it, it was a, a roller coaster ride. Mm -hmm. um, it, and uh, basically, we hope we kept the spirit mm -hmm. along with all the other stuff we bring to the to the story. Mm -hmm. and I there's think a we little did. bit of everything in that movie. Right, I mean, that, right. just that clip alone. Right. You, got, well. you captured it all. <laughs> look, look at Rick's face here. He is, there's something going on in there, like <laughs> nonstop. There's a lot going on. Quick, tell me now, really quick. But what? What you're thinking about. What's going on in my head? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's thoughts. why you're, you're yeah. writing movies. It's just my fault. Scrooge in the hood. It's all your fault. I apologize in advance. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, there's a little in there to offend just about everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's offensive on many levels. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's w you're going to keep us posted on that, on, mm. on Scrooge in the hood, and let's cross our fingers for the Christmas release. Now, your, your other, another movie is Legless. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that one. Uh, we did that... Uh, about a year ago, that was a uh, drinking comedy, uh, kind of like mm -hmm. something like you know Animal House. Uh, it's about mm -hmm. these. Uh, it's about this one guy. He's married. He's uh, getting divorced. His kids going to college, and uh, he's all alone in in the house. So um, he was basically he, he was an alcoholic back in the day, mm -hmm. and he did a lot of partying, and um, you know now he's, he's he's bored. So he decides to drink again, and he calls his buddies back. And, you know, of course, they're all bad influences on one another and mm -hmm. all this crazy uh, stuff happens. And George is one of those friends that returns and... You, oh, so you return from to drink again. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's like the weekend from hell. <laughs> and, and um, you know, it starts off just some guys getting together and it just goes downhill from there. So it's a, it's a, it's a heck of a ride. So then we have heaven and hell, speaking of hell, right? <laughs> and we also have a trailer for that one as well. So do you want to set it up? Um, well, heaven and hell is part of a, a trilogy. Mm -hmm. and it's actually the final movie in the trilogy. There was uh, Our Kingdom Come, Sons of Perdition, and Heaven and Hell. Those are three movies. They're kind of like uh, religious-based horror movies, mm -hmm. horror thrillers. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, it's... Well, let's take a look at that okay. one. Heaven and Hell trailer. That was unbelievable. Well, I see what you mean about even having the music. It's so important. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about this movie you're going to be um, um, at. Boston Film Family is going to be at this event called Rock and Shock. It's mm -hmm. like a, a horror convention. It's in uh, Worcester. And um, I believe the dates are October 14th through 16th. We're going to be there all three uh, days. It's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, if anyone wants to check these movies out, uh, mm -hmm. I'll be selling... Uh, that trilogy, uh, probably Legless too. Wow, and it's perfect around Halloween. Yeah, you know? yeah. So you're you're hitting all the holidays. <laughs> That's pretty good. You are so busy. Yeah. And I'm and pretty busy. yeah, and now you're in Mark of the Dog Rose. So I like am. To I even give Shannon in. Carter a little plug for that too. Yeah. But that's um, really going to be an amazing indie movie, as well. So your um, short film that you did sh you're so busy you're, you're unbelievable um, tell us about that one 
Uh, in 2008, we did a short movie called Hangar 18. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's, what that's I'm the talking. one. Yeah, um, we shot that kind of in the middle of the uh, trilogy mm -hmm. because and we, we have a, a picture we can show too. Because we wanted time. to um, we just do something really, really gory and bloody. Mm -hmm. That was the general oh, idea. Really? Yeah, um, I just wanted to get it over with and make one movie that was just really messed up mm -hmm. and kind of in a sad way. It probably has like the most you know hits on YouTube, the most really? talked about thing I've ever done, and it's just it's just constant blood and nudity, and it's it's. It says a lot about uh, people. You have a gift. <laughs> you do. Do you know that? No, I was, un I was unaware. <laughs> You're unaware? No, I'm just kidding. All of your talent and, I mean, you have a gift. Where are you going next? Um, well, movie-wise, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to do this uh, kind of higher budget sci-fi project called Gilgamesh. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's, good. it's a long, very complicated script. Um, we've been trying to raise funds over this last year. And um, it's supposed to be like a $20,000 movie. Wow. So we have some funds, and uh, we are still working on that. I mean, I might as well mention if anybody was interested in possibly you know, mm -hmm. being an executive producer to uh, contact me because we're still in that process. Um, we also have a, a Halloween party um, fundraiser. It's uh, Thursday night, October 20th in um, Quincy. Mm -hmm. And um, people can find that on Facebook. Um, yeah, I guess I, uh, people could find us on Facebook, Boston mm -hmm. Film Family. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably a good thing to throw out there because all our updates and everything are uh, usually on there. Mm -hmm. So. So your the feature film Scrooge in the Hood. How long ha were you in production for? Um, in total, usually every movie takes around three quarters of a year, mm -hmm. um, including editing. Mm -hmm. That in post production. Yeah. 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 So you have a stage name, I hear. <laughs> What's going on with you? What is it? Well, A.K.A. Geo Ray. Geo Ray. Right. Just. Um, Something I thought might be helpful, mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I really don't put it out there that much, but... but um, <laughs> it's I'm not what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I try to stay busy, too, you know, mm -hmm. whether extra work or commercials or whatever, I try to, to, to keep myself busy. So, what are you doing now that, that Rick is in post-production? Well, basically, right now, um, I've just been, um, like, like most other... Um, Actors. Actors in this town looking <laughs> for work. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I've had to uh, turn down a couple of things, though, because we were in production um, for quite a while with uh, Scrooge in the Hood. Mm -hmm. And I, I really underestimated what my commitment would be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it really... Um, That's also common. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. And I want, and, um, Pe there's pre-production. People don't realize what goes into that. It's like a yeah. whole time, you know. It's like for a, that's worse a movie than time. shooting. Yeah, it's I, I know. It's right. rough. And you know, and you know, like like anything else, you have some challenges, and you want to try to make sure that 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 um, you're ready for those challenges mm -hmm. and what have you. Whether it be learning the script and, and being virtually in every scene is is, is definitely a challenge. Oh right. And. That's um, right. Then there was some wardrobe stuff, and I had a great friend that, that helped me out, this young lady, Lorraine Smith. She, she did some costuming for me, mm -hmm. and it was just wonderful. I mean, it was, uh, it was a good experience for me. Each film is a different experience Probably. altogether. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So do you th ever think you're going to get the directing, producing bug yourself? Um, I, I really don't want to look that. That, that far ahead, I'm mm -hmm. trying to, uh, you know, work on my craft, and mm -hmm. and I have an idea as to where I would like to go, and the kinds of things that, that I would like to do, and um, you know, uh, I have a wish list, mm -hmm. and, we'll, and we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Do you have another book brewing, Rick? Rick? I don't actually. Um, it's just uh, people keep people don't really read as much. Mm -hmm. And they have the well. The, they have uh, the iPads now, right? But for sm you know, smaller time publishers, don't get books on those things. Mm -hmm. You know, and not a lot of people uh, they don't order like you know like a, a nice hardcover book anymore. 
So maybe, uh, maybe someday, but it's just, uh, it's, it's difficult to sell. To sell a book. Yeah, it's, it's really tough. More so. people are doing e-books also. Yeah, and just like the bigger titles are on, are on the, uh, what's it, Kindle? Oh, you know, right. People, yeah. It's usually just the bigger titles are on there, mm -hmm. so it's kind of... I think the average person has, a, everyone has a book in them. Everyone mm. does. You know, and it takes a lot to actually sit down and write a book. You know, I was going to say, have you ever tried? <laughs> have you, I mean, mm -hmm. I've tried to do it, and then it's easy to get distracted to do something else. But since you're, you have the film industry down, you might as well thrill us with more screenplays. Well, it's, yeah, like film is just such a, it's like a full-time job, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not a full-time income. Mm -hmm. So between all of that, it's, 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 it's really tough to sit down and write another book. So you always have to think one ahead of yeah. the work that you're doing now. You're on to the next two or three projects after that. Yeah, probably the next two is already in pre-production. Right, in order to keep everything moving mm. because that's your, your dream. I, I think you're achieving the dream. It's, it's like everything else. Mm -hmm. You work real hard for 20 years and then you become an overnight success. Well, yeah, That'd it's, it's nice. not a get-rich-quick scheme, that's for sure. Yeah. We're working hard. It's your passion, right? I, I, I agree. <laughs> passion. So, are, so do you have the um, opening premieres, thing, you know, do special things for that? Like, do you have something planned for Scrooge in the Hood? Um, usually we, we have like photography and stuff there mm -hmm. and um, other than that usually the movie just plays and you know just kind mm -hmm. of a general premiere. Well it would be good to have something Christmassy you know be able to to do for a premiere. I hope so. Creative. It's you're perfect cre you're time. You're so creative. Try and uh, get that done. Yeah. So you have um, another um, well, we have some pictures of your company. How long have you been in, um, your company has been in business? Well, the company itself, only a year. Mm -hmm. But before that, it was just called Richard Chandler Productions. Mm -hmm. And that was, of course, just, just basically me and a few other people. Mm -hmm. And we can show some of those pictures that we have with your production. They're, they're very well taken. <laughs> see if we can get them on. But then, uh, you know, I established the company um, basically for legal reasons. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we changed the name and mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. So you were able to then do something without getting sued, maybe even? Yeah, they could sue the company and not Ta me. And taxes. Right. Taxes, yeah. And there's one of your models right there. Yeah. And that's... That's, uh, that's the crew, or some of the crew. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to show all these. Now people can see, you know, and and that's part of the Scrooge. Yeah, that's the, the cast and crew, or some of the cast and crew of Scrooge. Okay. That Scrooge, that Scrooge's demise there. Dark Nation. So the dark. We didn't talk about Dark Nation. What would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know all about Dark Nation. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic, um, mm -hmm. I almost said movie. There's so many ideas in my head these days. Can uh, I have your autograph, George? Yes, you may. Okay. Yes, you may. Isn't that cute? With yeah. the gun. Yes, this is Scrooge, really Joe. <laughs> getting ready to shoot Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> That was a uh, nice picture. That that scene was actually uh, shot in the summer. This movie is in the winter. We yeah, had some yeah. challenges. Wow! I mean, yeah. it was it was some hot days and. So how did you do that? We had fake snow, and we had. Um, would you get that from an ice company? How would you get fake <laughs> snow? No, it's it's that like biodegradable paper like oh. stuff, and it doesn't look super real if you get yeah. close to it, but. Um, it worked, and you know we had the right. spray on snow for windows, and we had everybody in winter and coats. George and George is melting in 90 degree weather. Y yeah, oh, it, was, yes. it was some hot days, but wow. it's been worse. That's interesting. The 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 fun part of it though was 
you know, just working around stuff and being mm -hmm. able to, to pull it off. Mm -hmm. um, Rich, Rich and the crew work real hard. Mm -hmm. But they actually, I guess you guys actually did some winter shots. We did a little bit, not a lot, like yeah. half a scene. Mm -hmm. and then we incorporated it in. Yeah. Do you think you may tease us with another trailer? With Scrooge? No, no, I think it's hopefully close to being done. Being done? That'll be good. Right. I can't wait. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I just would like to, to say to, to all your audience out there, um, keep your eye out on Facebook. Uh, Scrooge in the Hood is coming. It's a, a raucous ride. Um, it, it should be just so much fun. Mm -hmm. It's a good PR guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when, when you're Scrooge, you know, I mean, you got to take the ride. <laughs> So, are you going to have any bloopers for us to see, too? I think the whole movie is kind of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. think I... Uh, I don't have a gag reel now. They're funny, though. We all look yeah. for the bloopers now. Yeah, there were, mm -hmm. there were a few bloopers. I know. There were definitely a few blo bloopers. Mm -hmm. Some well. of the bloopers were a little too, too real, I think, to put in, put mm -hmm. in the movie. Really? Well, you know, you can edit that, too. You, you, you have that capability. <laughs> Look at me. I mean, <laughs> hey, He wants hey, you to save hey, him. Hey, yeah. hey, my whole performance might have been Rick movie. wants to be <laughs> saved. You gotta save me. <laughs> so, hey. Well, it was a good show. I really appreciate you coming and letting everyone know about your, well, your thank work. Thank you very much. Your incredible work, really. Well, well, thank you for inviting us. Um, it's just nice to be able to get this information out there and let people know that Boston mm -hmm. uh, film industry is alive. It's amazing. There's movies going on all the time. Yeah. It's amazing. So thank you so much, and we'll be watching out for Scrooge in the Hood. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you're, you. You're a great hostess. Thank you. And thank you for watching on the set. That's a wrap. I think that was one of my best shows. Yeah, oh yeah, you're very good. Very good.